Right. Now, let's get on this the RP, the red pill. Now, I'm, yeah, absolutely. I, I don't typically claim the red pill thing because I didn't come into – I was this before the internet even existed. So I don't cling to the to, to type of red pill type of ideologies. Um, mm -hmm. But you specifically talk about guys that consume way too much RP content and the things that it does. RP meaning red pill. Yeah. The negative effects that it has on men. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, man. So I'm not going to sit here and say the whole RP is garbage because, listen, it's crazy. There are guys um, that I see all the time that will rip on the RP space, right? But then they'll regurgitate the same talking points. Don't listen to Myron and Fresh. Listen to me. First thing, improve her Instagram. Isn't that what Myron and Fresh say? Then they go, oh, then you want to actually get good clothes and approach women in person. Bro, they talk about they talk about that shit too. So it's like, what? Di how are you really that different? So some guys will come at it for it's like they'll put these guys down because they know if they mention Fresh and Fit, they'll get more views or Tate to get more views, and they try to they kind of regurgitate the same things that Tate or Fresh and Fit will say. What I'm saying is this: there's a genre of RP content creators where I get it makes the most money, where they find the viral clip of the week. Look at Kiki Palmer. You see, she's dressing half naked. This is why women in the West aren't worth it. Get your passport. Oh, you see this girl that cheated on this guy? Oh, you see, women can't be trusted. That's what they do. They find the viral clip of the week and try to paint all women as the clip in the video. And what that does is if a guy's 16, 17, and he, all he sees, his mom and dad aren't together, Mm -hmm. Then he goes and watches RP content and every video is just negative, 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 negative. He's going to have some type of negative outlook on girls. Here's the thing. Girls treat me good as hell. Man, I roll over in bed. My, my, one of the girls I talk to, we want for breakfast. Orders DoorDash. Freaking mm -hmm. roll, rubs my back as I'm working. Like, bro, girls treat me too good to have yeah, so I've always, me. I've always been treated nothing but like a king with women. Always my whole life, bro. My first girlfriend, real girlfriend in sixth grade. Spoiled me like a motherfucking king or prince or whatever you want to call yeah. it when I was 11, 12 years old. Like, spoiled me. So, and that was in what, 96, 95 yeah. or something like that. Like, yeah. I've, I, like, I don't have that. So, I, that type of shit is just like, I don't know what y'all be talking about. Now, nah, I've been cheated on and shit too. Now, don't get it twisted. Yeah. You know, but, <laughs> you know, but that comes from me dealing with the wrong type of women because of who I was as a person. You understand? But, you know, that, uh, uh, it, it's a lot of doom and gloom, man. Yeah, and you know, there's also RP content creator. Here's the thing: I'm not gonna lie. If you make any content for men, the liberal media will always say "man is fear," RP King Dre. They're never gonna go King Dre. They have to put some labels on you to make right. sure people know you're the enemy. Oh, alpha male, red pill, manosphere, King Dre, or for me, yeah. whatever the case, they they have to label you. They can't just right. say King Dre. Who the hell is King Dre? The alpha male. Oh, I hate him. Alpha male. You know what I mean? Like they have hey, to. Hey, ain't no alpha male. I'm a player out there. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah know? Exactly. I'm a player. <laughs> There's a hey, difference. But, but they, 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 they do that. They say, oh, this is the alpha male podcast. And I'm like, I, don't, I ain't never claimed to be no motherfucker alpha male. True. But that's how they label us, man. Like that's how they label people that give male self-improvement. And right. that's just what they're going to do. And listen, it's okay. It comes with the territory. And trust me, we, you, you and I both know what comes with the territory of doing this shit right here. But I'm just telling guys, look, I'm not going to lie. Seeing, you know, men rip on Kiki Palmer or whatever, whoever the girl of the week is, it's entertaining. I understand why that men watch it. However, if that's the main content you watch, you will slowly start to even, you know, push away from women. Because you're like, wait, I don't want what happened to Kiki Palmer's boyfriend happened to me, so I should just not date. Nah, bro, like, dating's gonna be painful. You're gonna meet girls that, are gonna, that make you feel on top of the world and make you wanna, you know, feel like shit. It's, it's both, right. It goes both ways if you're gonna play in the game, right? So don't consume just that. Consume sometimes content that's nothing to do with women. Maybe how to improve your Instagram profile. Maybe how to dress better. Maybe how to have a better haircut. Mix it up so you're not just consuming that type of content. Because here's the thing. Let's, Again, I love Myron and Fresh. The fact that they're able to go to a million subscribers in a year talking about the stuff they talk about and they didn't get banned, mm -hmm. salute, salute, salute. But even Myron says it himself, it's the same conversations every night. Mm -hmm. It's the same conversations every night. 
So if anything, listen to their, um, their, when they bring in Brandon Carter, when they bring in, you know, other guys who make money and do big things, that's when they're, they're the most valuable to listen to. Um, like the money Mondays type of thing. Gotcha. But when they're arguing with a bunch of girls, here's the thing. These girls live in their delusion. For like, like, I'll give you an example. When girls, especially the hot ones, come on there and say, oh, my guy has to make a million dollars plus and Myron calls them delusional. Here's the thing. If I was on the show, I said, listen, chat, I know y'all are going to get mad at me, but she's not wrong. This girl's 21, is a smoke show. She hangs out in the most exclusive parts of Miami where men are pulling up and docking their boats that they own and walking to the restaurant. These guys, she's surrounded by millionaires. She's surrounded by entertainers. So her saying a million dollars, based off her lifestyle, she's around them every single day. Right. Now, if she lived in like Alabama, okay, now you're delusional. But if you're in Miami and you're hot, your yeah. circle is only rich men. Only. Because right. right. they go where you hang out. And where you hang out, you're the product. So you get in for free. Well, they pay $10,000, $20,000 for that section. You know how it goes. Right, 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 right. So those girls, they're stuck in their ways, man. There's not much of a what Myron can do really to make them be out, out of their ways. They're stuck in them. So it's almost right. like a dead conversation in my opinion. Right, right, right. Right. 